Bangla. This is Wahiba Rahman with the news. First, the UP headlines. Bangladesh to take strong stance on Rohingya issue at UN. Prime Minister addresses General Assembly on 27th of September, meeting with President Trump and Canadian Premier. Trial proceedings of Jia Charitable Trust Graft case continue in absence of Khalida Zia. Court relieves her from personal appearances. And the Grand Alliance cannot be defeated by anyone if Jatya Party is with it, claims Isha. Now on to the details. Bangladesh will take strong stance on Rohingya issue at the United Nations. At a press briefing, Foreign Minister H. Mahmoud Ali said Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina will have talks with world leaders on the Rohingya issue again on the sidelines of UN General Assembly session. She will address the 73rd Assembly session on the 27th of September. The Prime Minister leaves for New York tomorrow with a 15-member entourage. The Foreign Minister said Sheikh Hasina is also due to hold meetings with U.S. President Donald Trump and Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau where the repatriation of the Rohingya refugees sheltered in Bangladesh will dominate the agenda. Trial proceedings of Jia Charitable Trust Graft case would continue in absence of Begum Khalidazia. The court has relieved her from personal appearance. Judge Muhammad Akhtar Zaman of Special Judge Code 5 passed the order upon a petition submitted by the prosecution. The next date of the case has been set for the 24th, 25th and 26th of September. Jatiya Party Chairman Hussein Mohammad Ishad has said the Grand Alliance cannot be defeated by anyone if Jatiya Party is with it. Talking to newsmen at Rangpur Circuit House, he said nothing would be achieved whatever alliances are formed by others. He also hinted of his remaining in ministerial post in the election time government. Central leaders of several political parties have informed that a citizens' rally would be held on 22nd of September at Mohanagar Nato Moncho. Convener of the National Unity Process, Dr. Kamal Hussain, would preside over the rally. The leaders of the National Unity Process have alleged that although permission for holding the rally have been received from the administration, activists of certain political parties are obstructing the process. A Wamani General Secretary and Bridges Minister Badil Qadir has said former Chief Justice S.K. Sinha in his book has mentioned many things out of hurt burning which he did not say while in office. Talking to newsmen at party office in the capital he said Justice Sinha could have expressed his feelings while in the country if any such incident had happened. But he discloses in the form of a book, while staying abroad has created doubts in minds of the people. Badal Qadir also mentioned that no allies would be able to influence the public opinion in the next election. Deadlock has been created in the movement of ferries on Shimulia Katalbari River route owing to severe current and navigability crisis in River Podda. As a result, a long tallyback on both sides of the river has been created. Several thousand passengers and transport workers are facing extreme sufferings. Now, news from abroad, Malaysia's former Prime Minister Nazib Razak has been charged with 21 counts of money laundering in a case linked to a multi-million dollar corruption scandal. He was charged in court today in retaliation with the alleged transfer of $556 million from state fund IMDB into his personal bank account. He was also charged with four counts of abuse of power. 
U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo says he is ready to restart negotiations with Pyongyang with the aim of denuclearizing North Korea by 2021. Discussions between the two sides had stalled following a broad strokes agreement made earlier this year. Finally, cricket and Bangladesh are taking on Afghanistan in the last group match of Asia Cup, winning the toss. Afghanistan elected to bat first and were 44 for two when last report came in. And that's the end of this bulletin. To view 18 Bangla News, browse www.youtube.com/18tubenews. Subscribe and remain with 18 Bangla. Love it.